so uh thank you very much that was uh, that was very helpful and and it is uh, like it's really great to see rejuvenation in the brain so i i did have a few questions so um okay it, it is a bit detailed but looking at so so, so do i so do i by the way <laughs> <laughs> i have a lot of questions to the system but you have a question for me okay i will try to to respond okay um so you used all four Yamanakas, uh, but Sinclair didn't use CMEC, like Dr. Sinclair, sorry, did not use exactly, CMEC. Exactly, exactly. So yes, was, yes, yes. why did you, why why different? Well, um, Yamanaka, in the, in, in the seminal study that Yamanaka did, uh, they achieved uh, cell reprogramming with the three Yamanaka genes that Sinclair used, OSK. Mm. But uh, the, the yield of uh, um, reprogrammed cells were so, so, so low that they found out that if they added CMIC, they, which is a proliferative gene, an oncogene, they could increase to a reasonable level the yield, the number of, of reprogrammed cells that we they got. So they selected those four genes for their work, the, the Yamanaka genes, really. But uh, Dr. Sinclair considered that this gene was an oncogene and one may be deleterious, so he removed it from the vector and used only the set of three genes. However, uh, thinking that perhaps removal of the CMIC was really making this uh, set of uh, three genes less, uh, eventually de less harmful for the animal. It did work perfectly well uh, with gene therapy, but they also prepared um, a transgenic mouse expressing the, th the same three genes, OSK, without CMIC. So they activated the genes in vivo in the mouse, and the mice died three or four days after that because of uh, uh, hyperdysplasia, severe, severe dysplasia in the intestinal epithelium. So this means to me that really, and removing the CMIC didn't help because in, in transgenic animals where the genes are really harmful, the three genes were still quite harm, harmful. So uh, in our case, we had the vector, we have a vector with three genes, but we prefer to use the four genes because we didn't see any reason to remove it because in my feeling, this is my opinion, only my opinion, removal of the CMIC is not doing anything. And as you can see, in, in our experiment, there was no abnormality, no adverse effect. The four genes work so benignly as the three genes in, in the retina in, in the Sinclair's work. So my hypothesis, this is my hypothesis, is that using three genes or four genes is having the same results. At least the four genes work very well for us without any kind of adverse effects at all. So they are as benign as the three genes that Dr. Sinclair used. Mm. Okay, thank you. I, I may, so I noticed in the paper that you were using the tet on, tet off, so the control of the genes. We, we, at least you no, had, no. but you did you no, use sorry. it? Well, we constructed a regular tablet vector at tet off, and also we, we have in our laboratory a tet on vector for the, for the mm -hmm. three Yamanaka genes and for the three Yamanaka genes. But of course, it takes a lot of time to prepare every vector and test it. So we started using our uh, TETOF vector, but since we wanted the four genes on all the time, we didn't need blood doxycycline to uh, inhibit, to silence mm. the genes, because the TETOF the TET vector, what it does is when you add doxycycline or tetracycline, it suppresses, it silences the genes. And since we didn't want to do that, and we just had the vector, we just used the vector without uh, adding doxycycline as a, as a vector that was just constitutively expressing all the time the Yamanaka gene. If in the future we need it, we want it for some reason, inhibit the, the, the expression of the genes to, to check any, any kind of uh, effect, we will do, but at this point, we didn't need to do that. So we didn't use, is the potential is there, the, the, the ability to be inhibited is there, but so far we have not 
uh, we didn't need that uh, that capability of the vector. So in the future, we may use that, but not now. Right. So I saw in the, you have the, those three pictures, like 7, 14, and 30 days. And the, the GFP, like the fluorescence, kind of the first two pictures was more and then it was less. So do you know what period the virus, viral genes no, are active? Not exactly, no, because we didn't check it for a long time. Mm. The only indication is not visualizing the genes. We also, uh, I didn't show the pictures, uh, um, that, uh, made made uh, immunohistochemistry for the Yamanaka genes at three weeks mm -hmm. after injection, and we could see that the genes were being expressed. We didn't; they were not fluorescent, so we had to use a different method, more laborious. Uh, but the the three genes, the uh, were uh, the four genes were being expressed, the Yamanaka genes. So at least 20, 21 days after injection. So we assume that uh, they are working pro probably 30 days at least. But the, our main test was the biological effect. Because mm -hmm. let's assume mm -hmm. that we checked the, the expression of the Yamanaka genes and found out, find out that uh, it lasts for active for six months. But we checked the, um, the memory of the animals 40 days after, and we find no change. Mm -hmm. What is the, the, the really the the judge of the um, efficiency of an experiment is the functional effect. So if uh, I have a functional effect which is positive, like in this case, um, increase or improvement in um, uh, learning a performance, even if you tell me and you show data, Rudy, your genes are not being expressed. Your Yamanaka genes are not being expressed at 40 days. I will tell you, I don't care because they are having the effect that I want. So the main the main goal here is to have um, a biological effect because really all the people that fund Altus Lab, etc., do not want to see that an enzyme increases or that some certain uh, RNA is inhibited. They want to see results, rejuvenation. If they see that, and you inform them that there are no structural, certain structural aspects of the, of the gene. They will not care because they are getting rejuvenated. So this, the, our main goal is to get to get a functional result, a functional improvement, ideally rejuvenation. And then in, we, we check, of course, the expression of the genes. But if we find that the genes are not being expressed 40 days after the, the, the injection of the vector, but there is an increase, an improvement in the memory function, we will be quite happy. Perhaps the, the, the activity of the genes is necessary for a certain time, and then this is a, the effect remains, even if the genes have stopped being expressed. We don't know. This is a lot of work and time that we need to, we will need to understand the mechanism. But what we want to achieve now is results. Mm. So if I, if I can rejuvenate myself, I will be quite happy, even if I don't know at all the mechanism. Right. So yeah, certainly understand that. But uh, kind of where I what I was thinking about is, to so my understanding, like especially in the transgenic mice, right? The problem with a long term expression of OSKN is you get this dysplasia, you get cancer or, or whatever. Exactly. Um, it, 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 there is no way around that problem. Because, but you. Uh, you didn't yeah. see that, right? Th these were active for quite a while, but you looked in the brain and there was no changes. Is is that correct? No changes except in the methylation of DNA. Mm -hmm. It's the only place where we, and of course on the rejuvenation, this was to be expected because the Steve Corbett mm -hmm. has demonstrated that the Yamaha genes rejuvenate uh, other um, organs in vivo. So that is not really a, a surprising result, but anyway, it's a confirmatory. Mm. But we achieved that. But the main thing that was really not reported before, because it was not before, is the effect on the epigenome on the methylation. Not the epigenome, because the epigenome is complex, but on the methylation mm. uh, pattern of those of, of DNA. The hippocampus, because we only checked the hippocampus, which was our target. 
So this is uh, significant because we know that the aging is an epigenetic um, phenomenon process, and our Yamanaka genes in vivo are acting on the epigenome, at least on one part of the epigenome, which is the methylation. So this makes sense. This makes sense. They rejuvenated the uh, methylome and uh, mm. the methylation of the of the DNA. But they they undid what aging did on, on methylation and DNA methylation in the hippocampus. This is why we consider it so significant. These results, of course, need they need confirmation, and uh, hopefully other other researchers will be interested in uh, replicating these results because uh, it is always quite uh, reassuring to have independent groups uh, confirming mm -hmm. results. If other people, independent people, say David Sinclair and the same thing doing gene therapy in the hippocampus of uh, mice or rats, well. He will be happy, and I will be happy because I will feel reassured that really this is a, a, something that can be replicated. Right. Yes, and you know, I mean, the important thing is that their their learning improved, and uh, which was which which was really good. I mean, so yeah. I mean, I looked at the results, and uh, in the last two, it was significant, but in the earlier results, it was it's yes. trending to, but not significant. Uh, yeah, I should I should explain how the Barnett's maze is done, but there is a training of the animals uh, to, to learn where the escape hole is. And in the first three uh, sessions of learning, the animals behave in the same way as the control rat, which is really learning nothing. But in the last two, Training sessions, they behave differentially from the the control rats. The control rats remain without learning anything, but the treated animals really showed that they had learned because they the time the time it take, it took to find the the hip hole was much shorter. So it took some time for them to express their learning, but in the end, in the last two two uh, training sessions, they express clearly a better performance. Yeah, which is what, as you said before, is, is what we're really aiming for. Yeah, of course, yeah. if we had done the experiment for three months, perhaps the learning performance would have been even better. <laughs> <laughs>